I almost wish I'd never even seen the video. This way it wouldn't even be in the back of my mind. I wouldn't think about it. My life would just be simpler. This had to have been an act of God. The video kept me awake because there was so many kind of interesting things about the video. And then all of a sudden there's this. What looked to me to be a gold bar going by, all of a sudden I went, oh my God, I just like, <laughs> I just like jumped out of bed. I mean, it's almost just like, an impossible thing, like the odds. I mean, I've been filming forever here, and I, you know, I've never seen anything like this. And just the shape, the color, I mean, everything that you would ever imagine a gold bar looking like. The thought that this could actually help my family was on my mind all the time because I was thinking, you know, gosh, you know, this would be just so easy. And I didn't realize how difficult it is, especially once you start reading about the sanctuary rules. as I would continue fishing, it kind of made me feel like not videotaping anymore. It was like this one video, it felt like it was just so much pressure. You know, there's heartbreak, and there's just, and then you're away from your kids and you got all these pictures of your kids all over the place and, and all you want to do is see them and then you come home, you know, and you just feel like, gosh, you know, I wish I could stay home longer. upstairs to your desk and you sit there and you see a stack of bills and you're like, this is painful. I got to make sure I keep a roof over their head. And you're back at it again before you know it. This is a way of life. You'll be on land somewhere and all you're thinking about is the ocean. It keeps drawing you back. I, I don't want my kids having to to go through what I have to go through. Not that I want wimpy kids, but I would like my kids to be more professional people and more inclined to have a normal life. That's why they get to go home at night. Uh, they get to feel proud about their achievements. I've lost so many of my friends to commercial fishing that I always wonder every time I get on the boat, it's almost like the lottery. It's like, who's gonna be next? Hey guys, you know, we should probably pick it up. I think all the time about getting killed. There's no safety net here. This is your way of making income for your family. And if you miss a beat, you fall back and then what? I can't let my family down. That's the one thing that bothers me the most. God, just one gold bar would fix my problems. <laughs> 